Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Dainty Daisy bookmark, which you can see here in front of you in the photo. I also have my sample ones here. This is a fairly quick little bookmark to work up, although if you are using multiple colors as I will be, there are a number of ends to weave in afterward. But it's just a fun, cute, little uh, spring or summery bookmark. The pattern today will be worked in a lightweight 100% cotton yarn. I'm using the Patton's Grace yarn by Yarn Inspirations uh, just in a couple of colors that I have on hand, this orchid color and then I'll also be using a yellow color. You're not going to need very much yarn, maybe 30 yards in two different colors. Uh, and then enough for your tassel down at the end. So this is a great scrap yarn project. You're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. The free written pattern is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll provide the direct link for you in the description of this video. Be sure to check it out and have it on hand as you follow along. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe take a look around. There's uh, many other crochet bookmark patterns if you're interested on this channel as well. So enjoy and uh, let's get started. For our design today it is worked in separate little motifs, little flowers that are joined as we go. So we're going to start by taking our color A and here you can either make a magic ring and work into that center of the ring or you can do as I'm going to do today in the video and make a slip knot and chain two and then work into that second chain from your hook. For round one, using your color A into the second chain or into the center of your magic ring, you're going to work six single crochet stitches. I have my second chain here kind of tight. There we go. So into that second chain, there we go, work six single crochet stitches. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. All six into that second chain and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet stitch. You can then go ahead and fasten off that color A. This is why we're going to have so many little ends to weave in here as we go, so fasten off. You're then going to take your color B You're going to join your color B in any stitch with a slip stitch. For round two, once you've joined, you're going to chain two into that same stitch. You're then going to work two double crochets into the same stitch as joining. chain two and then slip stitch back down into the same stitch. You're then going to slip stitch into the next stitch and repeat chain two, work two double crochet stitches chain two and then slip stitch back down into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around until you have six petals. Now this is just for our first flower and then I'm going to show you how to do the next ones because there's a slight difference in them. So chain two in that next stitch, work two double crochets, chain two and then slip stitch 
back down into the same stitch. Keep going all the way around. When you come to your first uh, stitch, your first petal, you can then just join with a slip stitch and fasten off for this first flower. We're going to be making five of these in total, uh, but as I mentioned, the second and ones following are done slightly differently. Once you have worked your six petals, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then kind of slip stitch over into your first petal. You can then fasten off and at this time you can go ahead and weave in any ends if you would like or you can save them until the end. So you want to have a total of six petals there for your first flower. You're then ready to start the second and um, we're going to have five in total. So second motifs, what we're going to do just as we did before, you're going to start either make a slip knot and chain two and single crochet and make six single crochets into the second chain from your hook or work a magic ring. So I've chained two, work six single crochet stitches into that ring. And then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. and fasten off your color A. Take your color B and join with a slip stitch and then chain two and you're going to work four petals just as you did before. So chain two, work two double crochets into the same stitch chain two and slip stitch back down in to the same stitch, slip stitch over to the next single crochet and then repeat. You want to work four of these petals until you'll have two, two remaining. Just like so. I have two done, working on my third. Now this is the way you're going to work the second, third, fourth, and fifth flower. If you would like uh, your bookmark to be longer or shorter, of course you can add more or less flowers. It's really easy. And again, you don't have to have all the same color flowers. You can mix up your colors, have each one a different color, or uh, make them all one color. It's really up to you. So I'm just finishing my last petal. Once you have four petals worked, in our next petals, we're going to be joining them uh, to our uh, previous flower. So we're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet for our fifth petal. Then chain two and work one double crochet into the same stitch. You're then going to take your first flower and in one of the petals, you're going to join by slip stitching into one of the double crochet stitches of the petal on the opposite flower. So this is my first flower. I'm just going to insert my hook into one of the petals, yarn over, and pull through. So you're just doing a slip stitch join to join it to the other petal. You're then going to work one double crochet into the same stitch as before back on your second flower, chain two, and then slip stitch back down into that same stitch. Slip stitch over into the next single crochet, chain two, 
work one double crochet and then again on your flower being careful not to twist them you want them all facing forward you're going to once again insert your hook into one of those double crochet stitches on the next petal of the first flower yarn over and draw it through the flower and through that loop on your hook so a slip stitch join work one more double crochet stitch into that second flower chain two and join with a slip stitch down into that same stitch you can then slip stitch over to that first petal and then fasten off you will then find that you have two flowers joined you have a number of little ends to tuck in but that's okay you can go ahead and weave those in later on so you're going to continue doing this until you have as many uh, flowers as you would like I'm going today to work five and then we're going to work a tassel go ahead and weave in all your ends before you work that tassel once you have your five flowers connected and all of your ends woven in you can then if you'd like add a tassel as I'm going to here so what you're going to do is cut uh, eight to ten depending on how thick you'd like your tassel uh, lengths of yarn mine are about 10 inches long so that when I fold it over they're about five inches and you're going to take those lengths of yarn and you're going to thread them through somewhere on your flower I stick them in my hook in just at the base of this petal uh, or your yarn needle whatever you find easiest and you're just going to pull them through you want to make sure you pull all of them through and you're going to want them to be all uh, the same length there we go so pull all your lengths through somewhere at the base of the bottom of your bookmark and you're going to fold them over in half like so you're going to then take a longer piece of yarn and there are other ways of making tassels uh, I turn my bookmark upside down and then just up near the base of the flowers you're going to take that longer piece of yarn and tie it just up near the top you want to make sure that all of your strands are fairly tight and straight and you're just going to tie it just like that then you're going to wrap the ends of the yarn of your longer piece there around several times and I work them in opposite directions so I'm going to start with this one side I'm going to just wrap it around here several times making sure it's fairly tight once you're happy with how many times you've wrapped it you're going to do the same working in the opposite direction with the other piece and they should be coming up on opposite sides of your tassel you're then going to take those two long pieces again and once again I just tie a knot I like it to be fairly secure tie a knot there up at the top pull it tight and I'm going to double it up here just to make sure that it's secure then you'll want to tuck your little longer ends in so I thread them onto my yarn needle and just go up and down through the center of my tassel do the same for the other side And pull it through next take your pair of scissors and simply trim the ends so that all of your ends are the same size and that's all there is to working your little dainty daisy bookmark so thank you so much for joining me once again I invite you to subscribe take a look around check out some of those other wonderful bookmark patterns 
and thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm-hmm.